important thing I want to mention any scholar any scholar if he talks against Quran and Hadith do we have to accept the scholar or the Quran and Hadith I want a reply from you let him talk in a sweet voice let him talk on marriage subject always let him talk on business matters always if he refers anything against the Quran and Hadith let it be openly like what Abu Musab did. Let it be openly like Yasir Qadi did, saying more than 500 verses. And there are some scholars who use their sweet voice, attractive style. They mention the same thing, but in a diplomatic way. So my dear brothers, if I tell my belief clearly that this is wrong, as Abu Musab said, this is wrong, shirk, bidat. Though he is wrong, but he did not hide it. He did not hide his belief. He mentioned it clearly that he is so and so. He has to understand what is he in light of the nation of Hazrat Abdullah ibn Umar. But there are some people who hide their belief in their hearts and they talk in such diplomatic way that people who are listening in the audience, they are compelled to think that this is right and that is wrong. They take the right as wrong and the wrong as right. This person, he doesn't show clearly he talks diplomatically, but the same thing is spoken in a different way. And the public, they get the impression that what he said is correct. This is one of the scholars. When the Prophet ﷺ himself was instructed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, قُلْ إِنَّمَا أَنَا بَشَرٌ مِثْلُكُمْ Imagine the Quran says this, O Muhammad wasallam, tell them that I a human being just like you. I am a human being just like you. The difference between me and you is that revelation comes to me. I am a human being just like you. Repeated twice. Just like you. I would like to ask this person to show in the Quran where it is mentioned just like you. Because Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by seeing Sahaba Akram, the best of the creation after the prophets of Allah, the highest in status after the prophets of Allah, Sayyiduna Abu Bakr Siddiq, Sayyiduna Umar ibn Khattab, Sayyiduna Uthman ibn Affan, Sayyiduna Ali, all the Sahaba, they are highest in status after all the Prophets. Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, looking at the Sahaba, said, Inni lastuka ahadikum, I am not like any one of you. Seeing Sahaba, the highest in status after the Prophets, I am not like any one of you. And here, I am just a human being like you. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Same belief but in a different tone. And this verse was revealed towards the kuffar because Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as Mawlavi Musnad Mus Sufyan mentioned very clearly in this the background of this verse this was towards the kuffar for them to take them towards Islam to guide them towards Islam that don't take me as an angel. In appearance I am a human like you. The difference is wahi. I get the revelation, my dear brothers. Getting the revelation is the biggest difference. What is more bigger difference than the wahi? This is the biggest difference. Our Nabi is a human being, but a unique human being. And our Nabi was Nabi even before the creation of Adam alayhi salam. Kuntu Nabiya wa Adamu bayna al ma'i wa teen. So Adam alayhi salam is the father of humans. So when before the father was created, our Nabi was created, that means he is Noor. Our Nabi is Noor as well as Bashar. He is Noor. He came to dunya in form of Bashar. So the ayah Bashar, the meaning of Bashar doesn't mean I am just like you. In appearance, I am like you. I eat, I drink, don't take me as Allah. I eat, I drink, I also do nikah. But, oh Sahaba, those who are highest in status after the prophets, 
there is no one in you like me. Inni lastuka ahadikum. Indeed, there is no one like me. Allahu Akbar. And I, in such exalted place, I stay that Allah gives me to eat and Allah gives me to drink. Subhanallah.